A community is in mourning right now, mourning the deaths of eight children just one day after a massive coach house fire in Little Village. Today, firefighters returned to the neighborhood with an important message about fire safety. CBS 2's V Win live at the scene for us this morning. Hi, V. Good morning, Marissa and Aaron. This memorial is growing for the eight victims, the youngest, a three month old baby. People in the community have been stopping by all morning to show their support for the families. Firefighters say they did not find any smoke detectors inside and believe it potentially could have made a difference. When we lose one life, it's too many lives if we lose somebody to fire. So today is even more critical because we lost eight people to a fire, and that's unheard of in the city of Chicago. We haven't lost this many people, and I can't even count back to when we lost this many lives. Now, these are the faces of some of the victims. Family says the oldest victim was 16 year old Victor Mendoza. He was visiting friends for a sleepover. In the pink bow is five year old Ariel Garcia, and behind her is 11 year old Xavier Contreras. Standing in the middle is 13 year old Nathan Contreras, and in the right corner is 14 year old Cesar Contreras. At last check, he is still in critical condition at the hospital. The youngest victim was three month old Amaya Almaraz. A group of firefighters went door to door for about three blocks this morning, passing out information about fire safety and free smoke detectors to families in need. They were joined by the American Red Cross crisis intervention team. Firefighters are urging people to make sure your home has a working smoke detector. They will install it for free for the elderly and you can call your local alderman to pick one up for free. The deadly fire happened early yesterday morning in the 2200 block of South Sacramento. Firefighters got to the scene and found massive flames coming from the back of the coach house. The victims were found dead on the second floor. People who live in the neighborhood say they are shocked by what happened. Their focus now is to help the family moving forward forward. We're here to support all this family. They're not by themselves. You know, God is with them and they're not going to be by themselves. We're going to hear all the community. Everybody's here to help all this family. Now, the cause of this fire is still under investigation. The alderman for the 12th Ward told me yesterday investigators are looking at all possible causes from electrical to arson. Reporting live from Little Village, V. Wynn, CBS 2 News. Marissa and Aaron, back to you. Such a sad story, V. Thank you.